Whether you try Weight Watchers or Nutrisystem or Jenny Craig or any other plan, <laughs> our next guest says they all have one thing in common when they work. That one thing is you, the person on the weight loss plan. Lucy Knapp is the former program coordinator of the Lifestyle Coaching Program at the renowned Duke Diet and Fitness Center. She joins us now. Lucy, tell us what you mean when you say that nothing is going to work unless you do. Well, it is really a commitment. We all think that if we just kind of watch what we eat and exercise is automatically going to work and it does but the real work comes into being able to be committed to deal with the maintenance part of it mm -hmm. it's so easy to lose weight in many cases some harder than others but being able to maintain that level of weight loss is really where the challenge comes into play because most of us don't really grasp what our relationship is with food and there is a strong relationship that to take it to the next level and to be able to say okay I'm going to be able to stick to this you have to be able to get in touch with what that involves and it involves a lot more than just what you're eating and how often you exercise now you call diet the worst four-letter <laughs> word ever why it is because well number one has the word die in it but <laughs> <laughs> there you go also most people tend to think it's I'm on the diet or I'm off the diet mm -hmm. so it's an on or off signal but to be perfectly honest to be able to just say it's a lifestyle change that you're going to look at things a little bit differently and how you deal with the challenges in your life rather than use that term diet I think the term diet kind of um, forecasts a quick fix mm -hmm. but not necessarily something that's going to be able to be maintained long term long term now, you have a master's in social work yes. and an undergraduate degree as well in psychology yes. did you always plan to work in the weight loss industry no not at all not at all I worked for quite a while in the acute mental health field mm -hmm. in a psychiatric hospital then I had three children, you know, not then, but it took a little time, and realized that I didn't want to work so much with the mental health aspect, and I fell into it by being getting a job at a health club mm -hmm. um, that was able to fit into my children's time schedule, and found that I truly, truly enjoyed working with people and being able to motivate them to stay focused on their health and their weight loss and just become healthy, because unless you have that physical health, nothing else really matters long term. And a moment ago, you talked about people making the commitment, making it a life lifestyle mm -hmm. choices a lot of this mental how they deal with it as far as their success oh yes um, if you really look at sometimes why you're eating when I work with my clients, I call something, I call it behavioral monitoring. Not just what are you eating, but look at where you're located, what time of the day it is, what your emotions are, whether or not you're even hungry. Mm. You might learn a little bit about why you're doing what you're doing, and that's where the research aspect of. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. you for your time. Bye. Have a good one, everyone. <laughs>